introducing driver anywhere 3.0 this is the login screen where your drivers will put in your company id their username and password to log in once logged in it will take you to the job screen on this screen you will see a list of your jobs each job has its own job card with the confirmation number, date, time, and passenger name listed at the top. On each job card you have map, car, and details. For new jobs you will see accept and reject. Once you've accepted a ride you will see it count down in the bottom bar and it will say job accepted. From there, if it's an airline pickup, you will see the airline info on map that is going to take you to the map where you can view directions and see your pickup and drop off on the map. Also have pickup airline info. This is going to give you the flight information and weather for the day car is going to be the car that is used for this trip and then you also have your ride details job details are going to give you any details about the ride uh, passengers name routing information airline phone number car greeting sign um, trip notes will be listed in there Also on the uh, job card, you will also see in the top right hand corner of the job card, update. Click on that and this gives you a place to update your um, costs, tolls, parking, your times. There's also the wait timer that you can start there, your mileage in, mileage out. You can attach a file, get signature for terms and conditions, extra stops, you can add notes and also collect a payment. One thing new about Driver Anywhere 3.0 is you can collect a payment at any time in the ride. You can do it from that update screen. You can also swipe to the left on a job card to open up more options. You can open in maps, greeting sign, add note, attach a file, and collect payment there as well. Now once you want to start your trip, you want to make sure that you're on duty which is at the very top right. Once you go on duty, it's going to ask you to select the car. And you can confirm that. Once you've selected the car, at the bottom of the job card, you'll see set status. If you click that, it is going to bring up a list of the statuses you can change to. On the way, arrived customer and car and done probably going to be your most used statuses to go through your workflow for the trip once you complete a trip it will ask you would you like to finalize details you can click OK or cancel click OK it's going to open up the finalize details screen this is your update screen where you're going to add costs finalize everything once you've got everything finalized you just hit confirm and this will take you to the payment screen you can pay with credit card or cash check other if you're paying with credit card you can select the credit card from there enter it uh, manually or swipe the card if you choose cash check other you can uh, pay with cash check or any other payment method we're going to select cash for this test purpose you can put in a reference check number if you'd like it'll give you the total amount click proceed to payment on this screen you can add optional gratuity so if the passenger wants to add 15% extra gratuity, 20%, 25%, or 
or other and they can type in a flat amount if they'd like there they can add that and they will also sign for the payment and once they're done you can click proceed to payment to capture that payment once that job has closed out it'll take you back to your job screen you also see on the left hand side you can open up the menu first at the top is your profile screen where you can select a car and go on duty there as well you also have your job screen which is the main screen for your trips you also have messages so you can message back and forth with the dispatch you have your completed jobs which will show you jobs you need to close out or any history of jobs um, that you have done in driver anywhere you also have greeting sign so you can create a new greeting sign if you'd like uh, or if you need to pull up a sign for one of uh, your trips you can do so there and that is driver anywhere 3.0